Hey guys, so we are here for the July, no, sorry, June 2020 Project Pan Art Supply Style. And this is a project I started at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, before I knew what was gonna happen with the world, um, but it was just my way of working through the stuff I have, um, trying things, using things up, purging things if I'm not going to use them. Uh, I got inspiration from the uh, beauty news ladies and I will link their channel below. Um, I have filled in the last month, I've lost track, three or four priority mailboxes of stuff. I mostly paper and envelopes. Uh, the last box was a large size box. Most of them have been medium and I filled another one up today. I am going to cut to a clip here of me filling up a medium priority mailbox to send off to a friend. Well, actually adding things to a box that was already filled. So we're going to cut right here. Hey guys. So I am packing a mystery box that a friend of mine just purchased that already had a lot of stuff in it. She ordered a couple more things. I was squeezing them in. Um, I decided to take some things out of this month's purge box um, from Project Pan Art Supply Style, and including some envelopes I found and some metallic, extra metallic embroidery thread, um, random, whoop, random vintage trims, and oh some embossing folders so those are all categories of things i've gone through this month and i found a few extra things i don't need and so i'm passing them along and yeah i'll film the rest in a few days all right so in this next clip you are watching me um sort through my bin of stickers and images for collage now i have discovered through my journeys that I am not a big fan of junk journaling. I don't really do planners in the traditional way. That being said, I wanna keep some stickers and things and die cut images and collage images. I do like to work on those things. I just don't need a hoard of them. And over the years I've collected way too much. And so I spent some time today um, sorting through them and I whittled it down to probably a third of what I had. And you see me here packing a box, a medium sized box, and it is full. It is full of just die cut images and stickers. There is nothing else in the box. That's it. I know, I'm speechless myself. <laughs> um, I am going, and it's full to the top. I'm gonna list it in my Etsy shop for sale. And um, there is a random collection of all kinds of stuff in there. Not too much holiday stuff, a little bit of Halloween. Um, but mostly it's just other stuff. And um, some of it is my artwork. Some of it is things I've purchased that I'm not, I used a couple and I'm not gonna use it up. Some of it is planner stickers, which I'm not sure where they came from. They might've come in happy mail. And if that's so, I appreciate it, but I never used them. Um, so um, they should be passed along to somebody who is going to use them. Um, I saved um, two binders of, these are a mixture of stickers and die cuts. I have two black binders already in here that are collage images. And um, I have these two little books I put together a long time ago. And these are small sort of uh, planner or travel journal type stickers. I do love using these. Um, I don't know if I'm still sold on this, this book and this way of storing them so much. <laughs> So I think that might need to change. In fact, this one's like kind of stuck to the other page, which it shouldn't be. Um, and this one is full of post-it notes, but until I can figure out what exactly I want to do with them, I'm going to just leave them like this and put them back in the bin. I'm going to be reorganizing the bits wall just a little bit um, next month when the parts come in, whenever they come in. Um, so that'll be a video where you see me do that um, and in the meantime, I'm going to be purging some of my things to make way for things I'm truly going to use to be over there. And the, whatever I'm not going to use is going to get sold off uh, in the Etsy shop. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be putting more scrap bags together of fabric and stitching supplies and 
um, more boxes of paper as I get it. So anyway, uh, I also have gone through. Uh, so one of the things that we just decided to do this last month, if you watch my um, vlog, I'm gonna put that in there before I lose it. Um, if you watch my vlog, then um, you know that um, my husband's printer died a few months ago. And with the pandemic and everything, we never did anything about it. He's just been using my printer, which is hooked up to the inter the house internet. We decided that we were gonna just keep doing that. And when mine dies, we'll just get one printer for the house. And so that meant all of the paper and office supplies had to come out of his office and they should be sorted and organized in here. Like you can see the printer, top of the printer right there. And next to it's where all the office supplies are and underneath um, all, everything that's used for the printer and shipping. Um, so I did that this last month and we, I don't have all of it here. I just have a sampling uh, of it here, but I found like, for instance, a whole ream of, um, cream colored cardstock that we're never going to use. We have so much cardstock. Um, so that's going out for donation. I found sample packs of paper like this one. I found some transparency film and this is not the kind that goes on the printer. This is the kind you write on. Not sure why I have that. Um, so that's got to go. I found some empty bins and boxes that I'm not using anymore. So that's got to go. I did use the one product I did use up. White gel pen. <laughs> I know, right? And I'm this close to using up one of the black big crystal pens, but not quite. So anyway, that's been my journey this month with trying to use things up, only keeping what I love and keeping what I'm going to use and letting go of or using up the rest or passing it along. So yeah. Anyway, how about you? How have you done? Let me know and let's start a conversation about supplies and um, hoarding, <laughs> hoarding of supplies and only keeping what we love and we know we're going to use and all of that stuff over in a life of art and self-expression. I'd love to see a conversation start over there. It's my Facebook group and it is linked below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, do leave me any questions, comments, or concerns. If you have a way to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, um, I sure would appreciate that. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. Um, you can join my Patreon. There's the YouTube membership here on YouTube. Um, I have an Etsy shop, PayPal tip jar, all that stuff. So uh, there's more. I can't think of it right now. Um, and it's not just for me. A lot of uh, the YouTube creators have ways of supporting them, and especially in the art community. And I know if you have a f favorite creator, they probably have a way. Check out the video description, and the there's probably a link for something down there. If there isn't, ask. Um, the same goes for the Facebook art creators. I know we'd all appreciate your support right now. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.